Okay, welcome back to Ken O'Connor Racing. I got a request yesterday um, about annealing head gaskets, and I'll just give you a quick run through on this. And by the way, you know, anything you guys want to do, if you're not sure about it, you know, maybe everybody else knows about it, but you just want to see a video, drop me an email. You know, I don't have a lot of time, but you know, if I have time, I'll go ahead and I'll shoot one for you. This is a stock gasket. It's brand new, hasn't been used yet. When you look at these gaskets, I'll try and get you a shot of this. It's got a little, eh, it's hard to see, but it's got a little embossed ring here where this sticks out. This goes on the bottom. Over here I got a used head gasket. And what I'm going to do to this is when you look at it, that embossed part, you know, that's what it's going to look like. You're going to have two little, you're going to have two little, just like lines here with a flat spot. And that's definitely going to be your top. On the bottom, you're just going to have a little radius in here, so that's where you want to put it. But we're going to go ahead and show you how to anneal one of these. It's really easy. All right, we're going to go ahead and anneal this uh, head gasket. And the reason we're doing this is the blasters have a copper head gasket. You can reuse them. Uh, they'll save you a couple of bucks. I do this all the time, and it works really well. Never had a problem with any of them. This gasket... It's kind of stiff. What we're going to do is we're going to put heat to it. Then we're going to take it, we're going to drop it on a cold plate, let it sit there, and that's going to anneal it. It's going to make it soft and it's going to seal again. I've heard of a couple of ways of doing this. The first way is uh, I heard somebody say just throw it on your stove. If you've got an electric stove, you can turn the burners on. And I really, I don't like that idea because... The burners, it's not its not an even heat, and not that what we're doing here is anything scientific, but you're going to have a burner in one spot and then another spot, and as it goes around, I don't think it's going to heat evenly, so I don't do it like that. I do it really simple. This is MAP gas. You can get propane, same thing. I use MAP gas. It's a little bit hotter. It works a little bit quicker, but um, I'll show you how I'm going to do this. I'm going to keep going around the gasket. I'm going to try and heat it as evenly as possible. And you're going to start seeing some changes here. You can start to see it happening right about now. Clean this the best you can before you start this. And what you're seeing here now, see I'm starting to get some red in here? You just want to kind of carry that around. This part's going to take a little bit more work. But once you get everything up to temp, you should be able to just walk around. I'm going to shut my torch off. All I did here is I just dropped it on a cold plate. Um, what I mean by cold, you don't have to put it in the freezer or the refrigerator or anything. It's just at room temperature. I'm just going to let it sit there for a couple seconds. What, what this is going to do is going to suck the heat out of this, and this gasket's going to get really, really soft. I'll